Did you know there's more than one way to multiply binomials? I'm going to show you four today. Hey, I'm Tammy and I do math for coffee. And the first way you're probably very familiar with, and that would be FOIL. F is first terms, so that would be the 2x times the x, plus O is the outer terms, which is 2x times the 1, plus I is inner terms, that would be the 5 times the x, L, which is last, which would be 5 times the 1. Multiplying through, 2x times x is 2x squared, plus 2x times 1 is just 2x, plus 5 times x is 5x, plus 5 times 1 is 5. Now combine the like terms in the middle, and we have 2x squared, plus 7x, plus 5 now, you may be the most familiar with this because this is the one that's taught in, in classes a lot of the time, but now we know what the answer is. Not, so now I'm going to show you the three other methods. Two. Now the second way to do this is actually one of my favorites. When you do a vertical multiplication, you're going to line the binomials up on top of each other. Now watch how I do this. Okay, once they're vertical, first thing you do is multiply the 1 times the 5. And that is a positive 5 because those are both positive numbers. Multiply the 1 times the 2x. So now we're going to multiply x times 5. x times positive 5 is 5x. And line that up underneath the 2x and you know that's positive. Now multiply the x times the 2x, and you know that that's also positive, and it is a positive 2x squared. Now you're combining like terms, but you're going to be doing this vertically, so the 5 comes down, that's positive 5, 2x, and 5x, that is a plus 7x, and 2x squared. And that's the same answer we got before, it's just a different way to organize it, and you may prefer this one. The third way is to use the distributive property, but I can show you how to do this two different ways. Now, distributive property version one, take this term, the 2x, and I'm just going to distribute it to each term on the other side. So this is going to feel a little bit like FOIL, but if you don't remember what FOIL stands for, you can still do all of this. So 2x times x, and then 2x times 1. Now I'm going to take the 5, and I'm going to distribute it to those same two terms. So 5 times x is plus 5x, and 5 times 1 is plus 5. All right, we already know the answer, so I'm going to write this out really quick. And here is the second way to use distributive property. Now for somebody else, their brain might be thinking, I'm going to take this whole thing and multiply it times each one of these terms. So here's what that's going to look like. You have that 2x plus 5 that you're going to multiply times this x plus that 2x plus 5 times this 1. Now you do distributive property again. We're going to bring the x in and multiply it times 2x and 5. And we're going to, the 1 times this isn't really going to do anything, but we are going to distribute that x in this way, and that is 2x times x plus 5x plus, and then 2x plus 5 times 1 is just 2x plus 5. Here comes the answer. Okay, so which one of these four do you like best? Leave me a comment below and let me know. And if there's another one, I would love to hear about it because most of these I get from students.